Hi everyone, a tutorial on URLs or GPT-4 vision to capture a game and do live narration. First, set up your game uh, in a browser or application, screen or game or window grab to get the image inside your OBS. Now, a new feature inside the URL source is to use images from incoming sources. Instead of choosing a, a text source, you can now choose any other OBS source that uh, has the capability of producing an image, like the game grab. Uh, so we're going to pick that. This is going to go into the OpenAI Chat Completions API because this is where G Chat GPT-4 Vision gives us image understanding capabilities. So that's going to be GPT-4 Vision Preview. Make sure you have that. For the content, what I put in is like what's happening in the game, answer like a sports news anchor and only describe the scene uh, without any introduction. This is important. Without this, it would think every image is the beginning of the game, and it would say, hello and welcome. We want to remove that. Next up is to give it the actual image. This is taking from their example code on the API. The image URL, that's going to be base64. When you have an input of an image like this, URL source will provide image b64. Uh, provide all the bytes for that image grabbed from the other source we can send one out to see how it works just test the request it takes a little while the request body is going to be enormous there's going to be like at least a megabyte in here the request body is the standard chat completions from OpenAI. this is what we have as an output after we parse it the output is just the chat completions choices zero messages content and and that's pretty much it i'm going to put this in the video notes now we have this set up and that's going to provide the narration for us but we're not done because we also want uh, OpenAI to read out this narration while we're playing the game but the other part would be to put this through text-to-speech right so that's another API request this time it's the TTS model and audio speech so we got TTX onyx sound but you can choose whatever you want the response format AAC then OBS can read the file and, and play it. We do want to set the no empty and no same because we want this to periodically see if there's something on the text source. If something is similar to what it was before, it shouldn't send the request, only when it's updating. And the output, what we want to do is we want to change it to our media source, the TTS output out media source. It's already uh, grabbing something from before. So you may want to clear that. Uh, before you're starting your stream, you want to automate some of these things. So we can probably let this roll and see what will happen. I'm going to unlock this one and this one. In the image, we have a static scene representing the main menu of the video game titled Burning Rubber 5 XS. The main menu is highlighted with four options for the player. Play, Achievements, C. We're looking at a moment of anticipation as players are on the starting grid, so to speak. The main menu of Burning Rubber 5 XS is on full display where racers are faced with options before they hit the track. About once every 10 seconds, it's going I'm to sorry. go out and capture an image of this source, creates this narration, and then read it out again with OpenAI text-to-speech. Notice that the GPT-4 vision was quite expensive, so you don't want to leave this on all the time. You want to space this out for like 10 or 20 seconds because a about an hour worth of gaming is going to be about $5. You don't want to turn this on all the time. Check this out. Thanks everybody for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.